Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So if you're looking to add CO2 to one of your nano aquariums, I've got the product right here for you. Now this is my second one of this system and I'm really, really pleased with it, hence getting another one. So we're going to dig into this, unbox it, put it together and set it up. So if that's something that interests you, then make sure you stay tuned because that's all coming up right after this. And welcome back. So like I said, in today's video, I need to set up a pressurized CO2 system on my new 30C aquarium. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you exactly what it entails. And let's get it set up. So we'll get everything out of the box first of all. Full disclosure, I've opened this box already because I use one of the space cylinders for another tank. So, but I haven't unpacked any of this. So I think that would be the regulator. We've got some suction cups and some, um, Fluid for the drop checker, and stand for the um, cylinder, and we've got a diffuser there, which I don't really like the reactors, and we've got something else to use instead. Uh, you get some clear tubing, paper, um, well, I, you do get, you have to order the canisters separately, but I ordered three and I've got another six, so that's the reason why this has been open, because I needed one. And then finally, we've got the bubble counter. Beautiful. So, why don't we get this put together? Okay, so we've got it put together and that was quite straightforward. It probably took me three, four minutes. Obviously, it was a little bit easy because I've made one before, um, but not too many components and quite easy to get your head around, especially if you're new into CO2. Now, firstly, this um, system is from CO2 Supermarket. They're not sponsoring this channel or this video or anything like that. I just find this the, the better of the CO2 systems that I've used for nano tanks. Now, the regulator seems to be really made well. Um, it's got a solenoid on there as well, so you can put a timer. The plug actually comes with a USB plug, but they also give you the actual plug to plug it in as well, which is good. Um, the stand is probably the only thing that I've got a little bit of a gripe with because it comes with those rubber bands to hold it snugly, where I think it probably should fit snugly anyway, but it doesn't become a problem. It still stands up, but I just think from a design perspective, it could have been made a little bit better than that. But if uh, anything has been made, not to the best standard really i'd rather it be that bit of plastic than any of that now it obviously comes with airline tubing as well for the co2 now it does come like i said with the reactor but i've got a um smaller diffuser for a nano tank so I use that instead we've got, the, we've got the bubble counter there so obviously that measures how many uh how many bubbles you want per second you turn the pressure on on the top there and then you can adjust the flow of co2 on the small nozzle there and that's pretty much all there is to it. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to get your um, pH checker set up and I'll show you that later on, but we're ready to install. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've got the CO2 system set up. Now this is being added to one of my nano tanks. My newest nano tanks has only been planted in the last couple of days. Also, if you want to see a bit more on this and see the full build, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But this is my second system I've used, similar to this, and I think is a perfect nano CO2 system. I haven't had any issues with it. For those who've been following the channel, you'll know I've tried various different ones in the past, like the tropical one, and didn't have much success. Much success. But this seems a lot better, hence getting another one for this tank. Now I've also ordered another one for my 20 gallon long aquarium as well and be setting that up and doing some work on that in the future. Now the thing I really like about this system is quite easy to put together. CO2 Supermarket are a great company, again they're not sponsoring this, so I'm sent you one for free. I just think their company and the products are really really good. But when you do order with them, they send you links to videos to show you how to set up every single item, how to attach and everything. So you'll never be stuck and the customer service there is absolutely great and they're really competitive on their prices. Now, as always, I'll leave a link in the description for going, if you want to go and check them out. I definitely recommend going over and see what the, those guys do. Now, the only other thing that we didn't use that was standard with the system was I didn't use the reactor. I wanted to use a diffuser. Now, the diffuser, I've got another one up on my AJ45P, and I really, really like them. They're quite neat and discreet, and they're from a company called Aquascape. Now, I'll leave my discount code up here if you want to go and check them out and buy something similar yourself and get yourself a little bit of money off and support the little companies. Now, I'm hoping this is going to do a world of good for growing these plants. As I said, they're all in vitro plants and they've all, they've all been planted in the last couple of days. So I can see some growth already coming through. Um, some little bits of die off, but not down to the CO2 system. Some of the plants I use are probably not in the greatest of shape when I added them in. But if you're interested in this sort of content around aquascaping, um, around these unboxing sort of videos, as well as reptiles, amphibians, and tropical fish, then these are the sort of things we do on this channel. If you're new, then I'll do you a massive favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As well, if you're a regular viewer, then do me a massive favor and drop me that thumbs up. Leave me a comment to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these. But I think that's enough of me waffling on for one day, and I'll see you in the next one.